Welcome back with another update on the Kilauea volcano eruption here. Uh, so the spatter cone in the southwest wall continues to feed the lava lake. The fissure vents within the lake have ceased. So it looks like there's no more internal source, like physically within the lake. Uh, so we just got like a little bit of like a lava river from the spatter cone feeding into the lake. So yeah, the effusive eruption within the Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater continues. An intermediate spattering and oozing lava out from the Hornito in the southwestern crater wall continues to feed the southwestern part of the crater for the last night. On the contrary, other eruptive fissures within the southwestern lava lake, which used to appear as small dome-shaped fountains, ceased after the decreasing activity of the past several days. There is a new there's another new lava source of lava effusion uh, near the well, the the winter uh, western erupt event, January to March 2023. That's basically winter. Um, instead, but mostly weak only. Yep, currently just weak. Um, and update on the western lava lake. It has been reducing over the past recent days, even though its elevation has risen by half a meter over the past day. Lava circulation also continues within the central basin that became the focus of a fusion during both the 2020 to early 2023 eruptions. Uh, no act active lava has been observed in the northern or eastern portions of the crater over the past day. No significant variations have been detected in the ground deformation meaning no, uh, neither inflation nor deflation at the summit, although continuous volcanic tremor dominates the seismic activity. So, again, just don't go in the crater. Stay away from the volcano in case it decides to go bonkers. And, yes, you should be fine. So with that, that's about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.